Hey guys, it's Stacy Ann. Um, I'm just doing a quick video on some projects that I did for um, uh, Two Shabby Sisters Studio. Um, the first one is a swap that Ollie's hosting. Um, it's an altered, or not an altered, but you make your um, like a a mask, like a um, <laughs> a masquerade ball mask, I guess. Um, and it was supposed to be midnight colors. And I you you're supposed to use black and blues and all. Um, I kind of altered the color just a little bit. I did use black, but um, to put the black and blue and the purple, like the dark purples and all, on top of each other, it was you couldn't really see the the difference in colors and all. So um, I kind of did like a dark color and then like a really bright contrasting color, which just so happened to be pink. Um, but I think it looks. I think it looks kind of midnightish. I guess um, the theme was midnight rendezvous. Um, but here's the mask, and I just used a. I just cut out my own template. Um, it all started out with this, and then I just cut everything to match it. Um, I found this on. Um, I just looked up images, mask images. So, and then I just use, I cut it out, and the base of this is chipboard, so it's really thick. And then, um, I, of course, layered it, it's several different layers. This, um, the back, the pink back here is actually a mesh that my friend, um, Stephanie sent me in a swap. And the minute I saw it, I knew, I was like, oh my god, this is going to be so awesome. Um, and then I used some of my bling around here and then this is the arena bling around the eye and around here um, this is a junk jewel that my friend Stephanie sent me um, these are some feathers that I bought from Michaels they you know you can buy them in, like the bags or whatever and I just set them out in the in the um, shape that I wanted them and then glued them to the back of the the mask um, this trim I got from Michaels and then the handle um, I covered in the covered in the same trim and I just cut the danglies off of the off of it, and then I used some of my different um, fibers and laces and ribbon. This is actually just a plain ribbon, and um, since the theme was Midnight Rendezvous, I actually used my Lindy Stamp Gang color, and it's called Midnight Rendezvous Black or something like that. But that's the actual color of this ribbon is Midnight Rendezvous, and then I just used some other ribbon, um, some other fibers and stuff that I got, and swaps and all. Um, and then for the back, because the back was looking a little bit rough, so what I did was I used some, um, and you can see all the glue, it took a lot of glue to glue this stick on here. And this is just a wooden dowel that I covered in the trim. Um, I just used some felt for the back of it, just to kind of give it like a slight finished look. So there's my mask. And then um, I am hosting a swap over on Two Shabby Sisters as well. And it's, um, the swap will change every month. It's not going to be, there's no set theme or anything like, you know, just like ATCs or recipe cards. It's whatever I decide that I, that we're going to do that month. Um, it's going to change from uh, every month. It'll be something different. And this month, um, my friend, we're doing altered Capri Sun boxes. And I got the idea from my friend Julie Walters, who's a very, very talented lady. You should go check her out. It's Julie Walters 74s or YouTube. And um, she does um, tutorials and, and all that on there. Um, but I wanted to show you, I went ahead and did mine. And this is what I came up with. Um, actually, I'm gonna cover you up and move you, okay? Hold on. Okay, let's put you at eye level so you can see a little bit better. So, as you can see, it moves. And I used some of the um, pulley wheels by Tim Holtz. And then um, I used quite a bit of actually his new line of stuff. Um, the only thing that's not new from him is this, are these corners, the tape, and the paper that I used. Um, but everything except for the Capri Sun box and these beads right here is Tim Holtz. Well, in the color. <laughs> the color is actually um, Lindy Stamp Gang. And you can see it's, I wanted it to give, I wanted to give it like this really funky like, 
like it looked like it was spray painted like a um, red like a really cool grunge look you know like almost like a New York City wall or something you know that it had been spray painted um, was my goal the paper I used is made by is Tim Holtz it's the um, craft resist um, and then this area right here is for um, holding pens or what have you it'll actually hold it will hold Tim Holtz markers perfectly see and there's plenty of room so you could break it up in different areas or different colors or whatever and then um, this portion right here is actually a drawer and as you can see it comes out really easy see and um, the drawer I used a priority box I just cut it up and measured it and then made it a drawer out of it so um, then I used some of the Tim Holtz corners and that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think I'm going to put too much embellishing on it because I want, you know, you never know what other people, what their spaces look like. So, and I think if you get too carried away with it, it becomes really heavy and gaudy and, you know, I, I think it's good just the way it is. So, um, but there's mine. So, and I hope, I hope you guys join. It's going to be, it's a lot of fun to do these, you know, and again, it's, a, it's just a basic, um, Capri Sun box. So, um, they're easy to do they're a lot of fun to do and it's a good way to recycle so but all right guys well come and join me over at two shabby sisters studios okay bye